Okay, question five, we need to work out um, these two values here, and we also need to work out the value of k. Um, we can do it in any order. So first of all, I'm going to fill in this miss missing value here, which, which is 40. Um, it's 40 because it's the initial value when t equals 0, and that's always this number at the front. And the reason it is, is because when t equals 0, we have e to the power of 0, which is 1, so m is going to equal 40 times 1, which is 40. The next thing I'm going to work out is k, and I'm going to work out that by f using the, when t equals 21, m equals 80. If I substitute those into the equation, I can solve this for k. So first thing I'm going to do is divide by 2. Give me 2 equals e to the 21k. I'm then going to log both sides. So I get ln2 equals ln e to the 21k. Um, I'm then going to take this, use my log rule to take that to the front. So I get 21k times ln e. And you should know that ln, the natural log of e is 1. So that leaves us with just 21k. So ln 2 equals twenty one k. You can go straight from this step to this step if you remember that you're gonna do natural log of E after this power comes to the front and you'll go straight to twenty one K. Last thing we need to do is divide by twenty one. So we get that K equals Ln two over twenty one, which you can leave it like sorry 21. You can leave your answer like that. If you work it out on your calculator, you will get 0 0.03. Blah, blah, blah. I also need to work out this missing value here when t equals 63. So now I can use my equation again for when t equals 63. m is going to equal 40 e to the kt which is going to be 63 for t times k which is our 0 0.033 and if you work that out on your calculator you should get 320.